Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back to another video and today we're going to look at the final part of our collection which is my collection of Liverpool shirts which we are trying to get one from every season as far back as is practically possible and is financially possible. Um, hi, how you doing guys? Welcome back to the channel. This channel is all about football shirts. That's right, if you're a football shirt collector or you love football shirts, then do hit that subscribe button and make sure you stay up to date with all our great content. Now, over the last few days, we've posted a video of our entire collection, all our international and club shirts that we've got. We've then done a match-worn collection. Today, we're going to have a quick look at the Liverpool collection. So apologies if you're not a Liverpool fan. We will not be offended if you switch off at this point. But we all have a team we follow. And for me, growing up, I had a lot of these football shirts. And like any student or young person struggling with other bills, a lot of those shirts got sold on eBay, probably for pennies. And now I find myself wanting to reconnect with that childhood get some of those shirts and now probably paying a lot lot more so we have got a number of shirts here we've got the home shirts and we've got the away and the third now obviously the away and the third is a bigger section and actually they're the ones that I focused on because for me they're quite exciting I love the colors um, but we've got some home ones in there as well um, and quite a few of these I've been collecting over the last couple of years and trying to put some name sets on. In fact, as we recall this, I've got a number of packages en route with some additions to this collection, which will we look at in another video. So let's start off, shall we, with um, just some of the home shirts. Now, I'm not gonna to confess to know every year of these shirts. What we're effectively gonna do is probably work back in decades and just give you a, an idea of the shirts we've got. So we'll exclude this season. This season shirts I have got coming with name sets. Um, I've just had some name sets applied to those. Um, the other thing is for me, uh, just to point out, I try wherever possible not to pay full price for a shirt. I'm not one of these people that when the clubs release their new shirts, I go, I've got to have that now. Why? Two reasons. One, I think football shirts generally are grossly overinflated in terms of prices. When you think you can pick up a good vintage shirt for 60, 70 quid, yet if you want a player spec new shirt, Nike 114 pounds, I just, I just cannot justify that. However, if I'm patient and get through to sort of March, April time, I know there is a fair chance I can pick up that shirt for at least half that price. It's then my decision whether I want that Vapor or player spec version or whether I want to go stadium version and pay, I don't know, 25, 30 pounds uh, plus name set. Of course, there are opportunities throughout the year to, to, to get them cheaper. And I've done that this year. I've got some, uh, the Liverpool ones this year, uh, post Black Friday. I've picked up some other shirts, but I do try wherever possible not to. So some of these shirts you will see. So this one is last season's home shirt. This is the Vapor knit version with Luis Diaz name set. Again, this was obtained from the club shirt. This would have been retailing at 114 pounds originally. I think I paid 54 for that. So very happy with that. The season beforehand, again, uh, no name set here, but we've got a Premier League patch. This again is the Vaponit version. I picked this up online, I think probably middle of last year. So probably a season and a half on. Uh, and again, a fraction of that cost. We've got the um, the championship or the Premier League winning season here, the last season of New Balance, and I've got that with a James Milner name set on there, brand new with tags, as you can see there. Uh, these name uh, sets I've got done through a local um, company here in the UK. I tend to collect the shirts up and then when I've got enough, send them all off. This shirt I really like. So this was a slightly darker red. Uh, I think this is 20, uh, is it 1819? I love the collar there. It's got a Mo Salah name set there. I, I really like this shirt and I, I don't wear these shirts typically. I try not to wear too many of these shirts. But 
This was another shirt. Again, I really liked this, this collar. I have worn this shirt. I wore this shirt when we beat Tottenham in the Champions League. No name set on this one because the condition of this is, I'd say it's, it's, it's good. Um, there is noticeable uh, wear to it, but I do try where possible to look after my shirts. Then we've got some Premier League patches on this beauty. I, again, the underlying pattern I love here. Uh, Mr. Sturridge, number 15. Um, I remember I was on a business trip um, in Indonesia one year and uh, watching Liverpool play Fulham at some ungodly hour, you know, one, one o'clock in the morning uh, and, and Sturridge scoring. So I, I felt I needed that there. Um, Warrior days here, we've got this shirt here. Nothing special about this shirt, to be brutally honest with you. Nothing fancy there. And again, this was a period for me where I wasn't blown away by Liverpool shirts. But um, a lot of these shirts I already had in the collection. Um, but yeah, I mean, not fantastic, are they? This one you would have seen in the match worn collection. I've got a match worn Suso from a pre season game in America. I already owned this shirt. Again, this is one that I was wearing quite a lot. I loved the collar, I love the simplicity of that shirt. And then we're back to Adidas. Again, these kits, um, I think one of the challenges when you're getting kits through for your club you get hold of bargains and then you look at it and you think, oh, I could probably get a better version there. This is one of those. A slight fading and cracking to the name set there. But again, I mean, this is probably going back to the early, early 2010s now. And this one again, long sleeve version here, uh, which I picked up last year. Um, the only home long sleeve I've got, but again, <sighs> wasn't wasn't inspired during this generation with the uh with the home shirts uh another shirt i really i mean look at that that carlsberg is not in very good condition at all i love this red and white check pattern in there just reminiscent for me of some of the big flags that used to be on the cop um and this shirt we're going back to before we had the 96 which is now 97 on the um on the back there. This one again was a shirt I really liked. I really liked it for two reasons. One, I loved um, the centralized Adidas there. Um, I like there's an underlying pinstripe pattern there. I love this effect and Fernando Torres. I loved the Torres name set. So very happy with that one. Another understated shirt and again, a bit, a bit of crack in there. I think what for me around this time, I wasn't blown away by the badge. I mean, it looked like a child had produced it. Um, I mean, this is authentic, would you believe? Because I think you could look at that and you could think it wasn't. Slight discoloring on the collar. That's definitely one we're gonna have to replace. And this one, this is one of those shirts that I did keep hold of. Um, this shirt, um, Again, look how small that logo is there. It's got an Owen name set, but it is actually signed. I got this signed at the training ground um, way back when. Um, I studied at university in Liverpool, so I used to spend quite a lot of time there. And then going back um, into the late 90s, we've got this iconic Liverpool shirt. It's a bit creased up there. You can't quite see it, but Love the collar, that big bold white thing, and Patrick Berger, name set. Um, yeah, I love that shirt. That shirt for me, it just you know, reminds me of Stan Collymore and all the others. And talking of that, my piece de resistance, this shirt I did buy when I was at uni. I did wear this, and at that time, I actually sent this shirt to the club and asked them if they'd sign it, and you can see it's fully signed. This is sort of the, uh, the Robbie Fowler era, Jamie Redknapp, Jason McAteer, some quality players there. So, home shirts, meh, not, not, you know, not fantastic. We do have a random goalkeeper shirt. I don't typically collect goalkeeper shirts. A Mignolet shirt there, 
I just really liked that bold sort of purple there. I would like an Allison shirt. I would like the black shirt. But anyway, looking to away in third shirts now. And again, these probably need to be stored better. Anyway, this is last season's third shirt, the McDonald's, Ronald McDonald. This is the vapor version with a Tiago name set on there. Don't have the away shirt. I mentioned not paying full price. Sometimes it bites you in the butt. And that one was popular last season and sold out. And at the moment, I'm not prepared to pay the stupid money. So I think what I'm gonna do is get a stadium version when I can. Um, this again is a vapor knit version from the previous season with a Roberto Firmino name set on there. And the same year, and you can see actually I've got some badges here. This is the 2020-21 away. Again, this is the vapor knit version. I really like this shirt because every shirt was unique in terms of the, the section and the pattern. I really love that. Makes it quite easy when you want to authenticate match-worn shirts. And we've got Fabinho on there. Love the guy. Love the guy, Fabinho. I think that name set just looks stunning against that colour scheme. Next up, we've got the 2019-20 third kit. Again, I again I just really loved this sort of aqua colour against the black. You got the Champions League winning logo there. No name set on that one yet. Not sure who to get on that one. Let us know who you think. Um, 2019-20 away shirt. Again, really, really liked this in terms of a new balance kit. Really like this. Nabi Keita name set on there. Again, these shirts are not worn. Uh, they are brand new with tags. Here we've got the 18-19 third shirt. Again, I really like this colour scheme. I think red goes really well with the grey. You've got the different tones there and that really bold, vibrant red Virgil van Dijk with the European club name set there. And another shirt that I'm a huge fan of is the 18-19 away shirt. I mean, again, look at that eye-popping colours against that purple with that orange coming off. Sadio Mane, absolute legend of a forward. Really so sorry to see him go. You will have seen the, um, the Bayern shirt we picked up this year. We're going to get a Mane name set put on that. And keeping that orange theme going, again, this is the 17-18 third shirt with 125 years on the logo. I really liked this application of logo. Dejan Lovren there. Again, really nice to get a Lovren shirt there. And I think my personal favorite is this one. It's the 16, 17 third with that really stunning yellow. This one, Coutinho, needs a Coutinho name set. So, we will save the pennies for this year for that one. Um, now we're going back to some more duller ones. This one, I mean, this one is more like a polo shirt. I mean, it's pretty, pretty standard. Black polo neck there. This is the 15, 16 third. So there are a few gaps in this collection, which will be filled. Um, Get another new balance, simple, simple white and red. 15, 16 away, no name set there. Possibly a Hendo name set, we'll see. And then the 14, 15 third shirt, which was quite nice. Again, some discoloration to the name set here. Oh, sorry, the, the sponsor there. So we'll sort that out. Quite like the red collar there. This shirt, 14, 15 away. Again, the match worn video, check it out. Raheem Sterling match worn. This is a slightly bigger version. I, I really love this kit. Really love this kit. It's sort of a kit I would be very happy wearing on a five-a-side pitch. Um, <clears throat> 13, 14 away. Again, a, a nice kit. Um, probably needs a Gerard name set for me. Um, some slight crack into the name set. 
But again, a lot of these shirts I, I, I picked up relatively inexpensively. Um, 12, 13, third shirt. Suarez name shirt on this one, I think. Suarez name set. And again, 12, 13 away. It's a sort of Raheem Sterling area. Maybe a Sterling name set on that one. Wasn't overly fond of this gray panel in there. This shirt does need replacing. A lot, a lot of fading on that name set there. This is 11, 12, third. Not a huge amount to say about that one. It was a slight step away from the normal colors. You know, a nice Adidas shirt, centralized Adidas logo, but um, not fabulous. This shirt I really liked. Um, so the 11, 12 away, I like the gray coming through on, on the stripes and the logo. Gerard name set, we've got a similar shirt from a bit earlier with more gold on the back with a Gerard name set. Yeah, really, really like that shirt. This one I picked up, <laughs> this is a random one. So this is the 10, 11, third. Again, nice popping colors there, that yellow, really nice solid yellow neckline. Ngog, who remember Ngog, eh? 24. Up there with Cinema Pongol, if you're a Liverpool fan and remember those. So this one, I had to keep this one in. This is a 10, 11 away shirt. And again, slight fading to the name set because I wore this because it's got my name on it. And it's got a number four, which was a number I played as a child and an adult, actually. 2008-2009 um, away. Um, again, the grey and the red going really nice. Robbie Keane there, but a bit of damage to that name set, sadly. Reflected in the price I paid. And then we got the 7, 8, 3rd, 2007, 2008, 3rd kit. I, I love this, the, the, the red flowing down there. Strange placement of the Adidas logo up there. Jermaine Pennant, number 16 on that one. And now, no idea with the names here, but um, again, big damage. Sadly, this shirt. I got a, a bunch of shirts from a guy off of Facebook and this one I think got damaged in transit. Sponsors stuck together, so really sad there. You can see it's stuck. Um, so I'm not really gonna do much with this shirt, but I actually really like this. I like that sort of darker green. Got two of these shirts. This is the 2007-2008 away, but the one on the top is Mr. Steven Gerard, And then this one I got off eBay, but I got from a, a Oxfam, I think it was a charity. This is the 0607 third shirt, which I really liked. Just lo I love the, the Adidas era. Um, then we've got the 0607 away. Again, you would have seen the long sleeve match worn Peter Crouch, European match worn shirt or match prepared shirt we got so this is just um, an authentic replica there the 0506 away shirt again this was the Reebok era talking of dodgy badges <laughs> look at that there it is this this was a strange season this was oh was this the year of Harry Kuehl Possibly, it was 04, 05 away. So around, around the, sort of just coming up to that classic Champions League game. Um, this one recently added, I just, I, I love this, I love the neckline. Um, it's, just, it's just a classy shirt for me. Even though it's got that badge on there, I just, yeah, it's just something about this shirt that I love. Um, so I was really happy to add that in. Another Reebok one, again, non-eventful in terms of a shirt. And then my final few, 
So let's get them all out together. Um, we've got the 0102 away. Feels like it needs a Heskey name set on it. Then the classic Michael Owen FA Cup final. And again, this is a shirt I bought from the club shop. It's got the FA Cup winners Cardiff 2001 badge on there. It's actually signed, I think, certainly Jamie Redknapp. I couldn't tell you who else has signed that. And then we've got that beauty again. Again, <laughs> school kid badge, but I loved the green and the black collar. And my oldish shirt, um, and this is, I guess, where the collecting is going to get more challenging. We're really going back to the Adidas equipment era. So going well into the, the early 90s there. The 1892-92, so that was the centenary badge there, that nice velvety badge with these three. I just love this era. This style shirt spanned two sponsors, so you got the Carlsberg versions in Home and Away, but you also had the candy one. I just think they are really nice shirts. And I think for me, one of the reasons why I wanted to collect the, the shirts going back is that it, it gives me sort of, it brings back really, really good memories of, of my, my life watching Liverpool through ups and downs. Um, you know, to be able to look at a shirt and say that reminds you of a cup final. Um, or Champions League match, or a kit that sort of just makes you instantly think of a player. I think that's the beauty of collecting these kits. So, as you can see, it's quite a big collection, but we're now at that spot where, certainly for the aways and the thirds, we're going to start having to spend a bit of money there. So, yeah, um, continue to focus on the away and the thirds. We'll build the homes up. There's a few few in that collection that we probably need to replace but let us know if you're a Liverpool fan let us know what your favorite shirt is maybe you're a lot younger than me and some of these shirts mean very little maybe you're older and you're going to pluck out an 80s classic a crown pates classic there you go guys that is the entire collection as it stands here in January 2023 we will no doubt be adding lots of shirts to the collection this year Thanks for watching and for all your support and your lovely comments. If you've enjoyed this video, do give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below, and we'll see you very soon with some new unpacking videos. Thanks for watching, guys. Talk to you soon.